Do you need 20% down to purchase your home? No, you do not. Hello there. Um, this is Natalia with OMG Realty and uh, Susie Butterwick. Yes, CMG Financial. Today we're going to talk about uh, different options for the um, mortgage. And um, of course, I invited. Actually, I came over to CMG Financial to interview Susie and uh, talk about different programs that are available. Susie, tell me a little bit about uh, CMG Mortgage, how long you've been in the business. Sure. I have been in the mortgage industry for 26 years, and I've been with CMG Financial for approximately seven months. They are a national broker, and they have some really unique programs to help help buyers get into their home and a lot of different options. Okay, so if you, I, I am a client and I come to you and uh, say like, Susie, what can I do? Like, what do you do first? The first thing I do is I get your information and I try to figure out a plan. I want to get you into a payment that you're comfortable with and the best program that meets your financial situation. So I understand you do like a regular programs like conventional mortgages, FHA, VAs. Yes. Um, everybody does that. Yes, yes. <laughs> Is there anything um, unique about CMG Mortgage? CMG has a very exciting first time home buyers program. It is called Home Funded. Home Funded is an incredible program for first time home buyers. Um, it's a great opportunity if you're graduating from college or maybe you're planning a wedding and you know people write checks at weddings or write checks for graduations. And we have a whole department that works with you on your home funded campaign and it allows you to send it out to whoever you want. And for gifts, they can deposit it right into this home funded um, fund so that you can crowdsource to purchase your first home. And it's really incredible because the money is fully seasoned. There's no additional documentation. And if you've ever heard of, you know, getting gifts for a mortgage, there can be a lot of intrusive documentation required for the donor. And so this is a way to avoid that additional intrusive documentation. So it's a really great program. The my company also does a grant if you do the first time home buyer program prior to signing a purchase agreement. So that's also a really good way to um, learn a lot about purchasing a home and understanding the documents. Great, great. Is there a limit for the amount that they can uh, gift? You can, they can gift any amount. Um, however, any, any individual gift that's over $7,500 does require documentation. Anything under that $7,500 per person is fully seasoned. So it's great. Okay, great. Makes it very, very simple. Great. We also have like down payment assistant programs. Oh, okay. Um, like MISHTA, which is through the state of Michigan, and that only requires 1% out of pocket. Oh, okay. Now yeah. the items that go into purchasing a home is much more than just a down payment. Um, you do have your down payment, whether you're putting 3%, 5%, 10%, it can just vary on what program you're going into in your own financial situation, as well as um, there's down uh, closing costs, which is your appraisal, your title, your flood determination, your credit bureau, mm -hmm. your um, closing fee, and then you have like prepaid items, which is your first year of homeowner's insurance, your prorated taxes that you have to pay back to the seller, and um, prepaid interest. Mm -hmm. Because when you close on a home, you skip a month before you make your payment. Mm -hmm. So um, you're always paying your mortgage payment in arrears. So when you close in December, your first payment's not till February, which is actually for the month it, of January. Yes, it's so, great. Yeah, <laughs> it gives exactly. you a little break. <laughs> gives you a little break. So. You know, it, you get that. So when a client comes to me, I make sure that I go over all of that information with them so that they have a full understanding of what they're going to need out of pocket. Okay. Thank you so much for your interview. Thank you for letting me come here and uh, ask, ask you all the questions. <laughs>
And as I said, like call Susie or me if you have any real estate questions or mortgage questions. Yes, please. I look forward to working with you. Thank you.